Hi, my name is Peter Arginischek, a research assistant working on the CPLA beta sprint submission. In this presentation, I will be providing a walkthrough of the DLF IMLS prototype. In this walkthrough, we will show you the basic layout and features of our DPLA design. Before we jump too far into the system, let's first look at some of the features we've made available on the homepage. First, featured collections are highlighted along the top of the screen. On the right, we provide the current counts of items, collections, and institutions represented in the system. As one would expect, clicking them leads to appropriate browsing pages. We currently maintain a weekly blog of cultural heritage finds called Sewing Culture. On the front page, you can find the most recent entry in the sidebar. The most recent samples from the IMLS DCC Flickr collections are also presented in the sidebar, with a link to the photo stream. We also provide a number of rabbit holes into the system, with visual options to browse by state, date, or types of items. The colors of the map and dates provide a quick glimpse into the relative number of records. At the top of the page, we can find the search box. Let's try a search. A search for the term folklore returns over 8,700 items. As we see on this first page, these include text, photographs, and moving images. Above the list of item matches is a tab for viewing collections. The 8,700 items retrieved come from 37 collections from a variety of institutions across the United States, including the archives of Cajun and Creole folklore from the Louisiana Library Network, the manuscripts from the WPA from the Library of Congress, and the Folk Streams video collection from UNC. Returning to the items retrieved, you can sort using the facets to filter by time, place, or type. Also, Supplemental Search provides access to a set of secondary sources, such as HathiTrust, Google Books, JSTOR, and others, with results displayed in a separate window. Going back to our list of folklore items, let's narrow our results to California. California returns seven items on a single page. At the bottom of the page, we find a 1964 photograph of a wood carving of Paul Bunyan's Blue Ox. Clicking on the title will bring up an item level record. From the record, you can go to Item Home to see the full-size image at Utah State University Library. If you like this ox made of blocks, you can choose to share the information on Twitter or Facebook. Or, you can comment within the DPLA site using Discuss. The item level records also provide key contextual information with a description of the collection to which that item belongs. This item is part of the Fife Slide collection. You can link to the collection record or view all the items contained in this collection. Let's view all items. Viewing this collection represents a shift from searching to browsing, a common information behavior in the digital environment. Browsing is also supported for titles, subjects, types, dates, institutions, or collections through the use of the tabs along the top of the screen. Clicking on institutions gives you a list of states, each state linked to a list of contributing institutions. Other ways to browse institutions are shown at the top. For Maryland, we see the range of types of institutions, including public libraries, museums, historical societies, and several U of M library units. Let's try one. Selecting Charles County Public Library takes you to a local history photo collection. If an institution has no harvestable items, you are taken directly to its collection records, such as here with the Maryland Historical Society. Institution Browse by State is also the functionality on the front page map. Let's explore. If you select New Mexico, you will be taken to a list of contributing institutions in that state. The first option is the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. Items are displayed first, and collections can be viewed by switching to the Collections tab. If a collection catches your eye, you can look at the record for that collection. Let's try Georgia O'Keeffe General Correspondence. If you want to see all the items from this collection, you can choose View All. I already see an interesting item in the previews, though, so let's try that. Neat letter. 
If I want to look at the original at the museum's website, I can click See Original. Now that you've seen our design, we hope you'll try the site for yourself. As you explore, keep in mind that we are still actively working on getting optimal performance for retrieval browsing and in other areas such as thumbnail processing. For example, we're still taming the browsing lists, which of course is one of the significant challenges of bringing together highly variable metadata from so many different sources. And we are continually adding new material and periodically rebuilding the, the database. So expect to see changes and results as the days go by.